Hi, I'm Chris. Uh, these days, I run a, a management consultancy uh, helping uh, businesses to develop their, their business, to grow and, and to change. Um, and I started that about uh, 10 years ago. I think, well, running my own business over these last uh, 10 years or so really gave me a much better insight into the challenges of uh, small business owners. Previous to starting up my consultancy business, um, I actually worked for very large um, corporations. And I have to confess, I didn't really give too much thought to the trials and tribulations of, of actually trying to uh, run and manage your, your, your own business. Um, it can, of course, be uh, very, very stressful. Uh, it can be quite isolating as well. And so having got more of an appreciation of the, the great work, really, that small and medium-sized business owners actually do and the contribution that they make to the economy, I, I heard about Help to Grow and I thought that I could probably contribute because I've got a lot of experience in uh, business development, so Help to Grow is about a growing business, but I've also got quite a bit of experience in mentoring, so I've mentored inside large organisations and I've also uh, mentored for the Judge Business School at, at Cambridge University. So I thought, well, here's an opportunity really to give back and here's an opportunity to contribute to the success of something that I think could actually really materially improve uh, small businesses. Um, I think for me it's been a, a really positive experience. Um, I have to say that there are kind of three parties in, in, in involved in, uh, in in help to grow. There's, there's Newable, there's Enterprise Nation, and there's also the Association of Business Mentors. And I've been in contact with all three of those organisations, and I have to say that the support that they've given to me personally has been absolutely excellent. Um, the, the training through the ABM has been really beneficial, so that sort of gave me a, um, a, a real, uh, really good foundation for uh, the mentoring process. And I think the systems involved in terms of matching with uh, mentees and uh, getting help and support have also been really, really good. Um, the, the help to grow mentoring is a little bit different from some of the thing, some of the mentoring that I've done in the past because you know when I've worked inside of organisations, um, it's been mentoring people really um, from within my teams or people that I've personally known about in terms of their you know career and, and where they're going and their aspirations. Uh, mentoring, for example, with the Judge Business School. It is really all about uh, being a, a sounding board and, and, and helping those um, younger MBA candidates to uh, come together as a team and to provide really good outcomes for their, for their clients in a learning ex experiential kind of uh, format. But Help to Grow is, um, is entirely different. Um, you're really being matched with uh, someone that you don't know at all. Um, so you have to begin by building that relationship with that individual. You know, their experiences, life experiences and professional experiences are, are different from your own. And so there's kind of a period of, of trying to get to know your mentee, to know what they're trying to achieve, um, to really listen and learn, uh, and then to see what you can do to actually help them uh, to uh, develop further and to overcome their challenges and I think that's been really interesting because um, I'm matched with um, a, a, an absolutely amazing person. She, she runs a business of just over 30 people. Um, she's got a huge amount of energy uh, and the business that she runs is completely different from any business that I've been involved in before and I think it's probably fair to say that um, she and I are really quite different in our personalities and yet we're able to come together pretty much every week in a, a relaxed sort of a, a, a forum and then be able to discuss things uh, in a way that is really quite open 
and is really helping. Uh, and so I'm getting very good feedback uh, from my mentee. Um, I'm enjoying the experience myself because uh, when you're a mentor, you're kind of putting yourself in the shoes of your mentee. You're immersing yourself in their problems, but ultimately um, you're there as a sounding board and you're there to really help them to overcome the challenges themselves. And, and I found it really, uh, really enjoyable, really challenging actually, quite, quite stretching because these are real life issues. These are real life challenges that your mentee uh, has to overcome. They're, they're business critical, they're critical to um, the way that your mentee feels about themselves and how they take their business forward. So um, it is voluntary what we're doing uh, as mentors on the Help to Grow uh, program, but it's very, very challenging uh, because professionally you are putting everything on the line really to, to help someone with their real life challenges. I think that's a really great question. Uh, I, I went into uh, Help to Grow, as I've mentioned, um, because I, I had some experience within uh, within mentoring and coaching, and it, it really wasn't um, an element of my actual business because um, the work that I do really involves um, quite complex consulting projects for quite large organisations. But having had this experience through Help to Grow, it's made me realize that, that actually, um, A, I enjoy mentoring, B, there is an appetite for individuals to have mentors to uh, help them in their business, and that it's quite difficult to find mentors if you are uh, day to day working very hard to run your own small to medium sized business. So it really has occurred to me that A, I enjoy the mentoring, B, there's a need for it, and therefore I've taken the decision to um, further develop my uh, mentoring capabilities by signing up to the ILM uh, 7 course, which is run by the Association of Business Mentors. And actually now I'm considering offering uh, mentoring services uh, to uh, clients of, of, of mine and also to people that I know within the local uh, Cambridge network. So I think it's opened my eyes to a need for mentoring that I wasn't fully aware of. And it's also uh, opened my eyes to the possibility that I might actually be uh, a valuable asset to people as a mentor. I would definitely recommend um, Help to Grow Management for um, people who are wanting to uh, get support with their businesses. So certainly for SME leaders, um, as I've mentioned, um, they face huge challenges. It's quite difficult sometimes to get um, support and it's quite difficult sometimes uh, to get outside impartial help um, at, at a cost that's not going to break the bank. So certainly for those uh, people that are looking to get help for their business uh, and looking for trusted uh, advice, I would say um, help to grow is definitely a good thing. In terms of being a mentor and uh, offering mentoring uh, to the program, I, I would recommend it to individuals who really want to give back, who want to help others, because ultimately it is voluntary. Uh, you're giving up a lot of your time. You are effectively acting altruistically uh, and without any financial reward. So, um, so long as you go into this um, in a spirit of, you know, giving back and paying forward, and trying to help someone to further develop their business, 
then, then definitely, you know, help to grow can be a, a really rewarding thing. So I think, you know, the, the thing that I've um, got out of it is the ability to um, support someone, build a relationship, but without any expectation of uh, anything coming back to me. And I think this spirit of um, altruistically giving uh, has to be there if you really want to uh, put your, you know, your heart and soul into supporting your mentee.